Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general of reading for my friends Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, this one's a little bit of a bonus. Let's find out together what's coming through for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Lovarina. Let's see what we can get for you guys. And we are ready, two cards. So your energies, guys. Ace of Cups, Temperance Energy. Your person's energies, the Empress. And the Eight of Swords. Meeting energies, Four of Pentacles. The Hermit. And the Focus, Three of Pentacles. Eight of Wands, bottom of the deck. Cupid's Arrows, Arrows of Love. Quite active uh, communication coming in. You can play quite a role in this situation because you are driven by the heart. Your person may be um, a little bit uh, caught up in their own mind, but they are able to raise their level to um, an Empress one. They know what it takes to achieve success especially in partnerships so it is auspicious um, deep feelings involved with the king of cups energy uh, i love to see the eight of wands because for me the king of cups sometimes can struggle a little bit with the communication part because feelings are so deep under the surface that quite an effort is required to bring them up so that they can be shared they can be understood properly and the closed off approach that uh, we may find in the four of pentacles energy can be overcome positively with the eight of wands influence and also with the three of pentacles which is uh, cooperation we work together we can build something so it is positive overall um, ace of cups temperance um, a lovely combination the ace of cups about self-love first and foremost a gift that we are able to grant in our own favor and then we learn everything about it we master it properly and we can share it then with a special person for sure but also uh, in favor of those that are around us so that we can even become a source of inspiration uh, this is a brand new beginning guys this is a desire to establish um, a new partnership because uh, there is a deep love in favor of this person and they can reciprocate despite the fact that they may be a little bit stuck in their mind um, this is the type of a brand new beginning that can be blessed by um, a great maturity because of the temperance and also because of the hermit the temperance is a divine alchemy, is the ability to balance things out, to uh, meet other people halfway, to find common grounds, uh, even to compromise. And as I usually say, without forgetting the values and the virtues that are important for us, that we believe in, this is the chance to uh, understand and figure out if quite a number of uh, virtues for example uh, can be shared within a partnership so that they can be amplified positively moving forward and this is also a touch of patience especially if a little bit of time uh, is necessary to uh, allow this person to understand that they can open up um, because there is trust within the partnership that is pending basically because you may have something uh, extremely important to share with this individual. The Eight of Swords is an energy of the mind that uh, sometimes, like the Nine of Swords, can be uh, self-inflicted. The lady, bounded in a rope, blindfolded, surrounded by swords, which are thoughts, she does not have 
exact perception of a situation and she feels stuck when in reality if she trusts her intuition she can break free from this self-inflicted prison of the mind the solution basically is right in front of her and the water that is on the ground kind of resonates with the king of cups a solution is deep under the surface and if we are able to bring it up we can resolve a stuck situation by transfor transforming it in um, an auspicious opportunity moving forward and the empress is all about growth there is self-love also in this beautiful major arcana the empress is the embodiment of self-love the mother of the deck and it's an encouraging energy this one because this is the shift that needs to happen in favor of this person so that they can embrace a promising opportunity with some of you there is love reciprocal but they have a shift to manifest because the empress is able to recognize meaningful opportunities so that she can direct her nurturing and caring energies in favor of these opportunities in a way that can allow them to fulfill the highest possible potential so it's quite of a um, it's quite of an inner process for this person it goes with the hermit and so in the meeting of the energies guys the closed off approach that we see with the four of pentacles is related to the eight of swords this man is keeping the pentacle uh, extremely close to his chest because possibly previous experiences have taught him to do so it's kind of the safe choice to make heart chakra is involved after all but then an opportunity comes and there is an evaluation that takes place with the hermit the hermit is about an ancient wisdom there is the willingness to embrace a quiet moment so that we can think things in a deep deep way because feelings are involved there is the necessity to bring them up in a way that can be understood as we were sharing um, a couple of moments ago a wish can be achieved because there is the star within the lantern of the hermit so satisfaction and fulfillment can be manifested it's a matter of patience it's a matter of realizing that meaningful um, factors are playing in favor of this chance and we can also talk about previous experiences the things that we would love to um, to try when it comes to love partnerships the things that we do not like so that the focus that is about the three of pentacles can be uh, truly embraced about the chance to work together to cooperate this is a beautiful energy because of course it is about uh, building solid foundations reliable trustworthy uh, grounded that can uh, stand the test of time but for me this is also an energy that is about the willingness to learn things that we didn't know before you may have gone through this process on your own because of the temperance of course the hermit can speak also to uh, some of you guys but especially this person the contrast between the um, eight of swords and the empress is remarkable and as soon as the shift manifests properly this person is all in in favor of the partnership so that the both of you together can find a way to establish it properly in a way that can uh, truly satisfy the both of you so it is lovely after all guys let's pull a couple of oracle cards for guidance considering these energies 
quite auspicious. Let's see what we can discover. All right, these two. Virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. Well, we have spiritual attributes that can go with the temperance and the hermit. Uh, an encouragement to grow that uh, we can find within the Empress. Gratitude. You fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you. Well, this is a chance that can make uh, the both of you grateful for the opportunity because it is it is aimed at a um, higher goal that can be fulfilled by working together by learning from each other also two more here we go release you have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe eight of swords breaking free from a self-inflicted prison of the mind that can be about the past or some type of uh, defensive mechanism that a person may have in place. But then there is a shift and also the Four of Pentacles can open up as an energy. Friendliness can play in favor as a factor. You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. Kind of the point, guys. It can be a friendly, um, a friendly connection at the beginning, then trust is built properly, the shift manifests completely, and the connection gains momentum because feelings, sincere feelings, deep love, uh, are involved. The detachment goes with the release. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. This is especially for uh, the person that can experience Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles uh, type of energies. Release detachment from these uh, vibrations so that we can make space for something positive, more auspicious and a chance that can make you feel grateful. So it is lovely after all, guys. I will leave it at that. I truly hope it was helpful. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.